Hello friends. This is third part of developing of to-do list application in by using Ajax, and here we will discuss how to check to-do list. In previous part, we have already discussed how to add new item in to-do list by using Ajax with Ajax. Now we have moved to check to-do list, for this we have go to index page, and here we have moved to write jQuery code. So here we have write, dollar with document selector with on method, and under this we have write click event, with list group item class, so when we have click on particular to do list, then this block of code will execute. Under this block, we have write task list id variable is equal to dollar this with data method, and under this we have write id, it will fetch value from id attribute, and store under this task list id variable. Now we have moved to write ajax request, and in this we have write first option url set to update task.php, it will send request to this file. In second option, we have write method and here we have write post, so it will use post method for send data to server. In third option, we have write data option, and here we can define which data we want send to server, and here we have defined task list id variable. Lastly, we have write success callback, this function has been called if Ajax request completed successfully and it will receive data from server. Under this success function, we have write, dollar with anchor tag id list group item with value of task list id, with css method. And under this method, we have set text decoration property has been set to line through, it will draw line on text, that means that to do list has been checked. Now we have moved to write update task.php file, and here first we want to make database connection. So here we have write include statement with database connection.php file, it will make database connection on web page. Below this, we have write if statement and under condition we have write, dollar post task list id variable, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar data variable is equal to array. In array first key we have write double colon task status, with value like yes. In array second key, we have write double colon task list id, with value like dollar post task list id variable. So here we have store data in array format in local variable. Now we have write dollar query variable is equal to update task list table set task status is equal to double colon task status where task list id is equal to double colon task list id. Below this update query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement, and under this we have write dollar query variable. This method will process update query for execution, and for execute query, we have write if statement, 
and under condition we have write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this we have write dollar data variable if update query successfully run then it will execute if block of code and under this we have write echo statement with done it will send response to ajax so here our code is ready now we have check output in browser friends first we have refresh web page after refresh web page here we want to check particular to do list task has been done so suppose this to do list task has been done so we want to check this to do list task so we have click on this to do list task after click on to do list then task row of text has been checked with line so here we can see this to do list has been checked with line so here our code is working in next part we will discuss how to remove particular to do list from web page by using PHP with Ajax. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, Please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.